Okay, today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how to calibrate your crane scale. Now the crane scale has to be calibrated in a kilogram number. So for instance, I'm using 500 pounds and I know if I just do a quick Google search or if I ask Siri on my iPhone, what's the conversion? It's 226 kilograms. So just keep that in mind as we go through to calibrate and you'll see what step we get to. So first to enter the parameter settings, we need to hit the bottom left button, okay? Then we need to enter in P888. So to do that, to go up, to change the value, we hit the star button twice. That changes it to eight. The H key, if you can see here, is going to toggle to the right. And now we're just gonna go ahead and enter in eights across. Once we have that, we're gonna hit this bottom left-hand button to confirm that value, okay? This is gonna be the divisions. We're gonna just leave it at default and then hit the bottom left to confirm. This is your decimals. We're gonna leave it at default, hit the bottom left to confirm. This is the capacity. It's gonna be left at default. We'll hit the bottom left button to confirm. This is our zero point calibration. So you need to make sure that there's nothing hanging at the bottom. The weight is drop dead on the floor. So it needs to be zero at this point. And then press the bottom left to confirm. It will say load. And this is where we're gonna hit our bottom left number. Okay, so now, like I said, it's 500 pounds I'm using to calibrate and I know the conversion is 226. So to move over to the left, I hit the H key. To go to change the value, I hit the star key. So I'm gonna change this to two. Toggle over. Once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and then raise up my weight so it's up off the ground. Okay, now that I have the weight up off the ground and it's loaded on the crane scale, I'm gonna hit the bottom left to confirm that. It's gonna show me this number and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bottom left to confirm again. Now it's showing 226. So to switch back to pounds, we do the same video that we've shown before. You press this once, okay? Then we're gonna press this four times. One, two, three, four. There we go. Then we're gonna hit the green button to confirm. Now this is where we can change the unit to pounds and then green to confirm. Now we're at 498, which is in our tolerance of plus or minus two pounds. And that's how you calibrate.